Hey guys, I'm LB, and I am so excited to play The Witness. First off, I want to give a huge thanks to my friend Loki, who got the game for me. He gifted it to me, and I appreciate it very, very much. Thank you so much. So, hopefully, uh... Oh, I can't even look behind me, really? I was gonna try and look behind me. So I, I have seen the first 10 minutes of this game, but that's all I've seen. I have not seen any further than that. I've intentionally been avoiding spoilers and the likes. So we are going to play this game. And, uh, oh, the, the movement is weird. Maybe I can adjust the mouse visibility or something. Oh, now I can look behind me. What's back here? I wanna know. Because I didn't see anybody look behind them. <laughs> Looks like it's just a dark black area that cannot be retreated into. Yeah, okay. Sorry for wasting time. But yeah, this looks like a really interesting puzzle game. It's it's made by the guy who made Braid, Jonathan Blow, and it is inspired by Mist. And you know I love puzzle games. And this one, you know, it starts off simple with these little maze things, and all you do is you connect from beginning to end, and, uh, yeah, that's it. But it gets a lot more complicated, as you'll see, and, uh, yeah. First, let me just solve these first few simple puzzles, admiring the beautiful graphics. Now, I have this turned on to the lowest graphic settings, because I was worried about recording, but even then, it still looks beautiful. Like, you can kind of see, it's not quite as high resolution as in, it'll be in other people's videos, but it still looks very, very beautiful. And it looks like the recording is actually faring pretty well. I'm actually really happy with that. Let's see... Okay, that's really fluid controls. I'm, I'm actually okay with that. I think I'll leave the sensitivity as it is. Uh... Can I do this yet? Pressing spacebar doesn't do anything, so there's- there's no jumping as far as I know. Shift... Okay, shift makes you walk faster, that's good to know. So shift is sprint in this game. Is there a crouch? I don't think there's a crouch. Uh, this one, as you can see, there's- there's no way to get to the other side from the left here, you have to start on the right side. Okay, so right click cancels, that's good to know. There we go. It's weird that you have to actually click once you get to the end. That's a little... I didn't expect that. But yeah, I am playing this on PC. Thank you again to Loki for gifting it to me on Steam. I really appreciate it. This, this looks so beautiful. Beautiful, sorry. Oh, look at the clouds! They're like, painted. That's, that's amazing. I like that. Um... Yeah, so we're trying to unlock this gate here. This is just a tutorial area, this is the first section of the game, and... Jonathan Blow has said that this is- that the game doesn't start until you get across this grid here. So, uh, let's- let's follow the wires. In this game, uh... You can follow the wires to see where you want to go. And that goes over the wall. Oh yeah! I remember... This one actually has two solutions, and depending on which one you activate, it activates two different things. So we'll want to pay attention to which wire we want to activate. Yeah, so there's this wire, and then there's another one that goes over there and does something else. So... we want to do the lower wire. I remember he, he said that it's about resisting the temptation to go to the first solution, and instead pass it and go to the second. Okay, I'm gonna come back and change this one to the other wire after I open the gate. I wanna see if that's possible. Okay, and then... Oh right, there's this one here. Let's see... Yep, just- this is a simple one. I made sure to get to sleep early last night. In other words, before 2 a.m. <laughs> so that I could wake up at 9, and then now it's 11 and I'm playing this game. Let's see, where do we want to go? Oops, come on. There we go. Let's 
now we can unlock the gate, and then I'm gonna go back and switch that other one to the other... the other solution. So now the gate's powered down. Let's go back real quick. Oh, I should be holding shift. And... let's see... There's that. I heard something activate. Yep, and the gate's still open. Awesome. Man, look at this. This is beautiful. I just love the way the clouds look. They're like, painted. Look at the water, especially. You can see it out in the distance, kind of, moving slightly, but... And when- when it comes inland, it gets still. This is a beautiful, beautiful game. This is one of my favorite art styles. I really love minimalism in games. And, uh... Yeah. I just love this art style. This is like, a perfect blend of minimalism and realistic nature. Okay, so this is another tutorial here. This one, I don't think actually unlocks anything. It's just a tutorial, so... The goal with these puzzles is to separate white from black, so if you- if you have them on... If you have any whites and blacks touching, it'll- it'll do that, so you have to actually separate them. That's- that's cool. And like I said, I have seen these puzzles, so that's why I'm rushing through them. I- I know the solutions already, but after- after this, it's gonna be completely blind. This'll be a blind playthrough after a certain point here. There we go. And this one, I think, is the best demonstration of this mechanic, is that it's- you don't actually have to completely surround the whites or the blacks, you just have to keep them separated. It doesn't matter what's in the blank spaces. So... let's see, that was just a tutorial. And from what I know, this game is pretty much just free roam. You can- you can go anywhere and do anything you want, whenever you want, but obviously it would help to, do, to find these tutorials that teach you the mechanics before you go any further. So, this one... I've seen, like, half of this, but I don't actually know much about it. I know that I have to touch all these dots. Look, like, if I- if I don't touch them, then it gets upset and lets me know that I have to highlight them. Okay, this one I have not seen the solution to, so this is- this is where my blind playthrough begins. Let's see... There we go. Hmm... <laughs> oh, I know. No, I don't know. <laughs> there we go. So I can start from either one. Interesting. Can I pass through one of these starting? Things? I can, interesting. I don't think I want to do it that way, though. There we go. This is where things get interesting. <laughs> there we go. 
That's cool, I really like that. There's- there's two completely different puzzle mechanics, and we're still using the maze puzzles. And I think this entire game is just maze puzzles, but as you can see, there's- there's that over there, and this over here, and these are two completely different mechanics that work in entirely different ways. I think it's really cool. Just the fact that you can get so much diversity from drawing lines is amazing. Now, there is a door back here. And I wanna see if I can figure this one out. Oh, this combines both of the mechanics! Interesting. <laughs> I think this is the first really challenging one. Oh, that's the... Wait, there's... there's... Oh, so I'm gonna have to draw multiple lines, interesting. Hmm... Actually, I think I can't use this one, because I have to pass through both of these. So, yeah, this one I can't use. There's- there's three outputs, and four inputs, so... Let's do it like this. Oops, come on. Oh, wait, but... How am I gonna separate those guys? Uh... <laughs> oh dear. Hang on, let me test something real quick. Oh wait, that doesn't even let me do anything. What if I light all these up? first, and just figure out what that does. Yeah, I think that's all of those guys. Hmm... Okay, maybe I don't know how to do this yet. <laughs> let's, uh... <laughs> let's go find something else. There's a door. I don't think I can open it yet, though. The fact that you can do a puzzle mode pretty much anywhere, I think, is interesting. And that's probably gonna going to come into play later. What's... There's, like, a... a thing on a ladder there. I didn't see that before. Let's see if we can find more tutorials. I want to learn more about the puzzles before I go back to that door. This looks simple enough. Oh! Oh yeah, I have seen these as well, I forgot about that. These are- these are symmetry puzzles. Interesting. start at. Over here. Yep, here we go. It's another- another tutorial. Awesome. It's a little bit disconcerting to be drawing both lines at once. Okay, so this one's interesting because it shows you how the symmetry works. It's actually interesting that these are covered up, like I can't click on these. That's- that's really interesting. I wonder why they did that.
Okay, there's the outer ones. Now... Oh, what? I didn't have to do the inner ones? Can I still do it? Oh, I can! What? Why am I... What? Uh... Interesting? <laughs> how do I, uh... How do I get a good angle on this? This is not a good angle. <laughs> Maybe I could have done either one, it doesn't matter. Okay. It's... I don't like that I can't look straight down. That's... that's... really frustrating. I, I appear to be able to look straight up for... for obvious reasons of, you know, looking at the sky. Well, almost straight up. Maybe... maybe not quite straight up. Mm, it is almost straight up, but uh, yeah, I can't look... I can't look straight down. That's kind of... annoying. What is this little... gadget? Not active yet, I guess. Okay, so it looks like this is turned on now. More symmetry. Oh, I didn't... There we go. Ooh, interesting. Can't cross. Oh! <laughs> okay, that powered something up. Where is. Oh, it's the other side. <laughs> That's not gonna make a difference. Why did I think that would make a difference? There we go. Oh, this one's kind of warped. Interesting. It's like it's melted or something. Oh my goodness! This does not <laughs> look good. Whatever this is, it is incredibly melted. Uh... Nope, nope, I don't want to go that way. Oh goodness, this is getting hard to control. What am I... Okay, well... <laughs> Despite the weird controls, I managed to do it anyway. Is that thing turned on yet? No, I- that's still not lit up. What did I light up this time? Something out here. Follow the- 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 the green brick cable? <laughs> not made of bricks. Oh, a little gate with a puzzle on it. Okay. Well guys, thanks for watching. That's it for this episode. In the next episode, we'll decide where to go down or up. Actually, since this is- this is uh- oh no, this is active. Okay, yeah. 
In the next episode, we will decide whether to go down and look at that tutorial down there, or up and deal with this gate. Thanks for watching! Goodbye!